there we go. So what we're going to be doing this week is uh, space meditation. And space meditation is slightly different from sensation meditation in that what we're going to do is to focus on the spaces that different parts of the body take and the spaces around us as opposed to a sensation. So a sensation was uh, something, uh, something itchy, something hard, something uh, warm, something cold in the body, different individual little bits of sensations, which are all different. So last week was a difference of sensations that we were observing and how they were you know, unique at every different place and how they were always changing because sensations are always changing and always there. What we're looking at this time is um, the spaces that parts of the body take. So the moment you notice a sensation, the moment you notice pain or you notice different, um, yes, yeah, of so itchiness, etc., you're off track. That's the moment where you know that this week you're off track because we're not looking for that. We're not looking for these stuff. This week we're looking at just for the space that everything takes. So if you feel something like pain, um, and again, I'll take the knees because that's often uh, places where, where we tend to feel things like pain. If you feel pain in the knee, what you want to focus on is not trying to observe the sensation of the pain. You know, last time we were looking for, is it little needles? Um, is it throbbing? What you're looking for now is the space that that sensation takes. So what you'll notice is that the, the pain in the knee will stop in all directions, on the right side, on the left side, on the top, on the bottom, on the front and on the back. And what you want is to notice the space that that sensation takes. And can you really sort of narrow it up as if you're trying to draw a little map in your mind of where exactly it starts, where exactly it stops. And that's to the extent that you want to observe any bit of sensation in the body. So what we're going to do is start this with as a guided meditation. So we'll take you there because what I love about this technique is the fact that it's very easy to do while you're having a conversation with someone or while you're walking in the street or while you're doing all sorts of other things. And that's kind of this idea of using different types of meditation at different moments. Um, and this one is absolutely fantastic for conversations uh, when you're working uh, on your computer and when you're doing things where you can keep your eyes open. So that's where we're going to start. And then eventually I'll get you to close your eyes and you will continue the meditation by redoing the cycle as we did. So we'll do a full cycle where we'll talk about the space, the visual space, the auditive space, space inside of the body and space around the body. And when you're doing your, uh, your practice, what you want, so I'll take you uh, probably about like 10 to 15 minutes at most. And then the last uh, so 15 minutes of the meditation, you're going to continue on your own. The easiest place to do is to do what we did last time. So you start with the top of your head, you go all the way to the bottom and then from bottom to top. And all you're doing is looking at the space of your head, space between your ears, etc all the way up and down. And um, if you have the time and if you, you, you feel inclined to, you may also do the rest of the exercise where we include the auditory sound and uh, the sound, uh, the, the space, sorry, the auditory space and the spaces around the body. Does that make any sense? It does. I've never done anything like this before though. So, so and, and you see, yeah. it. oh, and what I'll do, let me pop here in the chat so that you all have it. Uh, open Focus Brain by Dr. Uh, Les Femi. And this is uh, where this technique came from. So this okay. technique was brought to me by uh, Kurt Vega, who's uh, one of the one of the, 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 so the open focus champions, one of the people who've helped Dr. Les Femi with spreading the word about what he does. Mm. And Dr. Les Femi has been putting EEGs on people's head for about 50 years now. Yes. And um, 
what I particularly like about this method and his approach is that what he did, his question when he discovered about the different brain waves. There's alpha brain waves, which are also yes. synchronized and nice and beautiful. Yes. And then there's beta brain wave, which is what we have when we're working during the day and we're all focused. That's right. And um, what Dr. Despemi asked as a question was, well, if um, we can notice that there's different types of brain waves, is there a way to induce them? And if there's a way, what is that way? And so he tried everything. He tried to put people through meditation, uh, putting relaxing music, incense, hypnotic stuff, whatever you want, he tried it. And nothing seemed to have a fully standardized effect on everybody. The one thing he found was a question that was in um, an, an hypnotic induction program that said, what is the space between your ears? And at that moment, everybody had a spike in alpha. And that's, the, let's say, his, uh, his gift to, to the meditation world and to the world of uh, wellness is the discovery that when we focus on space, the brain goes into alpha. And that is really exciting because that's how people get into um, states of flow. That's how people get into the states in which they can do things that seem to be uh, outside of what we can do with our conscious mm. minds. Okay, that was a great explanation. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to look into that also because I'd like to learn a little bit more. Thank you. So, yeah, and, and uh, if you have a chance, Dr. Lesfemi still holds uh, seminars once or twice a year in uh, Princeton, and they're a lot of fun because they put the EEGs on your head <laughs> and then they even connect you with another person. So there's oh. two of you on the EEG and you have to create the same brainwave frequency in order to get the biofeedback signal. So it's a very, very interesting mm. um, experience because you have to connect with another person at brainwave level and you can't talk about it. All you can do is focus on the light and wow. the biofeedback. Which okay, is very, cool. very interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. So if we're all ready, what you want is to, again, get yourself sitting comfortable in the position in which you can have your back straight. Um, and what we'll do is that we'll start this as an open eye meditation exercise. And then I'll get you to... Close your eyes. We'll continue some of the meditation with the eyes closed. And then I'll let you continue the practice for the remainder of the, of the, of the hour. There we go. And that way this time we'll get a full hour. Uh huh. Let me set everything up so that it's going to actually ring for us. Oh, and again, um, if uh, if through the hour you you get uh, the feeling that it's it's taking too long and that uh, you're sort of wondering if everyone is still there because it does go silent, it does go quiet. Uh, you know, uh, I, I like to always think that uh, you can give yourself one peek just to make sure that. Everyone's still there and it's still going on. Um, besides that, uh, I don't know if there's any questions before we, we get started. No. No? All good? Okay. I'm get myself also sitting comfortably. And here we go. And we're starting. So, so the, for the purpose of this meditation and this first part of the exercise, what you want is to keep your eyes focused on me. So for the duration of the open eye part of the meditation, you want to keep your eyes on me and you will notice that without putting any efforts, this exercise is 
easier and easier. So as you're seeing me on the, in the middle of the screen, what you want is to notice that without moving your eyes, you can actually see the edges of the screen. And that as you see the edges of the screen and you see me inside of the screen, your vision is slowly expanding horizontally. So you may notice that your vision expands horizontally on the right and on the left so far that you may be able to see the walls on one side and the walls on the other side without having to move your eyes away from it. And as you do this, you may notice that your vision is also expanding vertically above and below the screen. And as you do that, you may notice that you can see the ceiling and then you can also see the floor. And so without having to move your eyes away from me, you can see the edges of the computer and you can see everything that's happening around the computer. And this is where you notice that the foreground and the background both somehow meld into each other in that there is no priority for your vision into what is right in front of you and what's, at the, uh, what's behind. And this is the first part when we realize that we can be narrowly focused on something while keeping a great awareness of what is happening in the surrounding. And once we've done this, we can start noticing the space between us and other objects. So there is space between you and the screen. The amount of space between you and the screen, you want to feel it experience it, or imagine it. It always starts with imagination. If you can imagine the space between you and the screen, then slowly you can start to feel it or to experience it. And now that you've experienced and felt the space between you and the screen, you can notice that there's also space around the screen. And now that you, uh, you have in your awareness the space around the screen, space between you and the screen, we're going to start focusing on the sounds around you. You may have like me earphones, which means that my voice may be the primary thing that you hear, but you may also hear some of the sounds of the birds around me, or sounds of cars, or sounds of other objects, computer, things around the house. Take a moment to hear all the different sounds around here. As you hear the different sounds around you, you can start noticing that there are spaces in between the sounds. Between each sound, there's a space. We call those spaces silences. And these silences are simply spaces between the sounds. And 
as you have now in your attention the sounds around you and the spaces between the sounds, what visually happens around the computer, what's happening on the computer, and the spaces all around. We're not going to be focusing on the space inside of the body. And for this part, you may or don't want to, uh, you may if you want to, you don't have to, close your eyes if you want, you can keep your eyes open. So for this part now, what we're going to do is look at the space inside of the body. The first thing you want to think about, to imagine, to feel, is the space between your two ears. So there's an amount of space between your two ears. Can you feel that space? Next, you're going to feel the space, the empty space at the inside of your nostrils. So inside of your nostrils, there's an empty amount of space. And if you deeply breathe in and out, you may feel that space more easily. There is an amount of space in between your two eyes. And you want to imagine or feel the space that's between your eyes. Once you feel the space that's between your eyes, you want to focus your attention on the space that each eye takes. So each one of your eyeballs takes an amount of space. And that space goes right into your head. I want to feel that space or imagine it. There is an amount of space between your chin and the top of your head. There's an amount of space between your chin and the top of your head. Can you imagine or feel that space? Now your entire head takes a certain amount of space. You want to focus your attention on the space that your entire head takes. Next, you want to focus your attention on the space that your neck takes. Once you're fully aware of the space that your head, that your neck takes, you can focus your attention on the space between your shoulders. Next, you want to take a look at the space that your arms take. Once you can feel the space that your arms take, you can focus on the space that each one of your fingers take. Your thumbs. The second fingers. 
third, fourth, and the fifth. Now you can feel the space that each one of your fingers take. You can take a moment to feel the space that your entire hands take. When you do, you may notice that there is an amount of space in between your in between your fingers. I want to feel the space or imagine the space in between your fingers. And that's when you can start noticing that you can both feel the space that your fingers take and the space in between the fingers simultaneously. You can imagine the space that your fingers take and you can feel the space in between the fingers. Now you can feel the space that your entire arms take and hands and neck and head. And now you can focus your attention on the space that your chest takes and the, and the, and the entirety of, your, of the top of your body. You can feel the space that your stomach takes. And the space that your back takes. You can now feel the space that your ass takes. Your hips and then your pelvis. You can feel the space that your legs take. the space that your feet take. You can now focus your entire your attention on the space that your entire body takes. Your entire body takes a certain amount of space. You want to feel the space that your entire body takes. What you will notice is that you can feel the space that your entire body takes. while still remaining aware of the sounds around you and the space in between the sounds. And if you kept your eyes open, you may notice that you can also still see me on the computer and what's happening around all simultaneously. The least effort you put into this exercise, the easier it gets.
now that you can feel or imagine the space that your body takes, you can start focusing your attention on the space outside of your body. So there's a small amount of space all around your body. A thin layer of space all around your body. Can you feel that space? Or imagine that space. As you notice that there is this space around your body, you can still feel the space that your body takes. Can you feel those two spaces simultaneously? Did you feel the space around you? You may notice that the space around you expands infinitely in all directions. Notice how far you can feel the space in front of you. There's an infinite of sp amount of space in front of you. Notice the space that's in front of you. Now you can notice that there's also an infinite amount of space on the left side of you. Feel or imagine the space on the left side of your body. There is space on the right side of your body. an infinite amount of space on the right side of your body. Take a moment to notice the space on the right of your body. And finally, there's an amount of space behind you. Your eyes cannot see it, but it's there. You know it's there. Can you imagine or feel the space that's behind you? Notice how far you can see that space. And finally, there is space below you and above your head. Above your head is an infinite amount of space. Take a moment to notice the space above you. Once you do, you can finally notice the space below you. You are sitting on something hard, something solid. Yet below that thing, there is still space. The space may be filled by the room and the earth, but there is space. You can notice that space. And now what you want to do is to walk back from the spaces around you back to the space that your entire body takes, back to the space that your feet takes, your legs, the top of your body, your arms and hands and fingers. 
your neck, your head, and then the spaces of the sound between the sounds around you and the sounds you hear. And for the rest of this hour, you want to repeat this journey to notice the spaces more precisely every time and to feel more spaces simultaneously at the same time. So I will now let you continue with this practice of noticing spaces and we'll find each other at the end of the hour.